Okay, so I officially made it to Massachusetts. We left Rochester at like 7.30 this morning and we got here around 12. We stopped twice and Alex just dropped me off. Got a little emotional when he dropped me off, but um, I'm really excited to be out here and ready to see what the next three weeks brings. a lot of burnt stuff up in here. I read somewhere that there was a fire on the approach, so I'm imagining this is where. And I officially made it to Vermont, 273 miles to go. Alright, I officially made it to Vermont. Uh, the approach trail wasn't that bad. I feel like everybody says it's like super horrible and steep and awful. Um, really wasn't that bad. There's like a really rocky kind of steep section but I mean it was it was fine um so I'm about 10 miles from the Congdon shelter and I think that's where I'll be staying the night so we'll uh keep it moving and see what we run into along the way seen a lot of quartz and I don't think I've ever seen it like this much before. It's pretty cool. I can't believe I get to look at beautiful stuff like this every day for the next three weeks. That was the first time I've ever actually like seen a beaver up close and personal. And he was like super chilled out. Super weird. Can I walk by? I'm not gonna hurt you or your babies. We're good. morning from a tent site outside of the Congdon shelter. I got here last night around 7.30, um, which was way later than I wanted to get here. Um, so I didn't really have time to film or do any kind of updates because I had to filter water, hang my bag, get everything set up. You know, took quite a while, make dinner. Um, there was a ton of people here. I think it's a lot of AT through hikers. Um, so yeah, I slept like a baby. I probably slept for like nine hours. There's like a stream running down below the um, shelter and the sites, so I, I sleep really well next to running water. So um, I am all packed up and getting ready to hit the road. I don't know where I'm going to go today. I'm probably going to do like 14 or 18 miles. I haven't quite decided yet. I'm going to go based on how I'm feeling. And I will update you guys along the way.
town of Bennington. Nothing quite like crying on top of your first view of the day because it's your birthday and you just got cell reception and you have so many incredible messages from your friends and family. <laughs> I love when you can start to see like a clearing in the landscape because you're like, is it a road? Is it a pond? What the heck is it? Found the road. little break at the parking lot here at Route 9 into Bennington. Uh, drank some water, soaking up the sun a little bit. Um, I've got about, the uh, sign says 9.8 miles to the Goddard Shelter. I think that's where I'm gonna stay. Um, I am pretty sure it's like a straight climb up for the next 10 miles, so it's probably gonna suck, but uh, that is the long trail, so we'll see. big all right just stopped about six miles in and had lunch at one of the shelters um, I had peanut butter honey wraps which is my husband's favorite there was a nice older guy up there from Massachusetts who's hiking the long trail um, he said this is his uh, third time trying so he's taking it really slow um, I think I'm like eight miles from the shelter I'm thinking about staying at the climb up here wasn't that bad. I definitely expected it to be worse. I expected it to be like brutal, but it wasn't that bad. It was pretty gradual. Um, obviously there's tons more climbing to be done, but I'm ready to keep pushing and get to camp. Another pretty power line view. If you could see the windmills. Pretty sure that's Glastonbury Mountain. We made it through the wilderness. the pre-dinner snickers. All right, so I made it to the Goddard shelter. I got here around 6.45. Um, it was a killer climb up here, especially at the end of a long day. Um, thankfully, there's a bear box here, so I really just had to like set my tent up, get my food ready, and then I dropped my food in the thing. Um, what time is it? It's 8.20 now, and I'm realizing that's late for through hikers, so I am going to hang out in here for a little bit, probably do some journaling and then get some sleep. Um, I'm not sure what I'm gonna do tomorrow, if I'm gonna get up early and try to like sunrise Glastonbury or if I'm gonna take my time, but time will tell.